Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Out here in the cider room. <clears throat> Press cider last night. Like I said, we like to let it sit in our tank for 24 to uh, 12 to 24 hours for all the flavors to mix and whatnot. But today's video, we're gonna go ahead and start bottling the cider and hopefully get done today. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and smash the like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to share this video with a friend and uh, you guys stay tuned for today's video. So we have a siphon filler, that's what it's called. So this, uh, once we get all set up, I'll show you guys everything. But the cider fills up through there and then the, it gets siphoned through here in the bottles. I mean, why am I trying to explain it whenever we're gonna be doing it? So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to sanitizing everything. And uh, you know, it's a long notorious process, but it needs to be done. So let's get to it. So everything is clean, ready to go. So what we're doing here is we're pumping it out of the big tank that's going on the pipes here through the pump and the pump is pumping it on top of this big tank. This is just our holding tank. And how this um, bottler works is it runs through flow. So whenever you open this valve, the cider flows through here. And then that, that thing there stops. I'm gonna go ahead and close this cap here just to do that and then how these uh, the single bottler works here is you guys can see there they go all the way down to the bottom of the slider there and then we siphon it with that little tool here and then whenever you siphon it then it's going to leak into the bottle. I'll show you guys how that works. So this is the setup right here. It's kind of loud in here but it's going to work. The slider is nice cold. It's about 34 degrees so these are the actual gallons. Adrian is over there putting on the labels. There it is. Garden Orchard Bakery Apple Cider. And uh, yeah, once we get started here and I siphon everything, then we will, um, I'll show you guys how that works. So now the bottle is all ready to go here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the single bottle here and then just feel like that. And you guys see how the cider is filling up there. And then we just do them all like that. So I went around not filming, I do both hands two at a time here. So then it fills up slowly. It's all out of gravity. And as you can tell how this thing works is the level in the tanks right here and then it stops it right there automatically stops because the um the flow of the cider is just stopped right there so it's, it's a pretty cool pretty cool deal and these half gallons here fill up really fast so it could stay like this for then whenever we get done pull this off and then uh cap them right here and then take them out into the cooler there so as you can see the cider is slowly flowing through here through the barler so, yep, fun, fun stuff. Now it's time to get to work. We got 223 gallons to do. So the nice thing about this machine here, all I did is I lifted up this uh, the bottom base there and now we are doing uh, quartz here. And this is the last cider here, so I gotta tilt that up here. But you know, the nice thing about, I mean, to be honest, in my opinion, quartz are a pain in the butt. You know, cause you're still doing all the labels, the caps, all the labor, 
they fill up a lot quicker so it's just a lot more but in all reality the money maker is the smaller containers because we sell a, um, a quart two dollars cheaper than a half gallon so you know the initial whenever the customer comes up to you initially you know they look at the prices of course the best deal is a gallon but if they can't drink that they go down to half gallon they see how big a half gallon is and for two dollars cheaper they're buying a quart but it's half the amount of the of the actual uh, the volume there so you know the, the quartz here kind of painting the butt but in all reality if you could sell only quartz you know you would get you know press 200 and uh 200 gallons so times four would be 800 quarts if you could sell 800 quarts at the price we sell them at i mean you that's where the actual money is but you know we have to do all of them because that's what the customers desire and they want but yeah but the quarts they're just a nice cute little container we have a few of them done here so whenever you get a family you know that has four or five kids and they see these every kid wants their own you know at the end of the day you still sell a gallon of cider but you're selling them in the smaller containers so you're you're tripling the amount of dollars amount worth in a gallon compared to the actual smaller sizes so we're going to finish up here and then get everything washed up cleaned and i adrian and i we both had to go to a farmer's market later this afternoon so kind of got to hurry up get out of here and then we'll be good to go we are going to still sell cider we still have peaches tomatoes a bunch of produce squash and uh apples of course a lot of apples and yep just getting it done so we are officially done bottling this last year right there everything is nice and clean now it is just time to clean up make sure everything's ready to go and until next week i'm not planning on seeing that bottler ha.